As a hernia mesh lawyer, one of the questions I get asked all the time is about settlements. People want to know, when is my case going to settle and for how much? The honest answer to this question is that we just don't know. And any lawyer who tries to give you specific time frames or a specific dollar amount is really misleading you. But I would say that there are four important things to know about hernia mesh settlements. First, when your case settles will depend on what brand of mesh you received, what type of implant was put in your body. There are five primary manufacturers of the mesh. Each of them is a separate litigation. Each of them is likely to settle at a different time. In fact, it may be that one of the companies settles its cases in 2020 and another company settles in 2025. If I was a betting man, I would probably bet that Bard and Gore will settle sooner and that Covidian and Ethicon, Johnson & Johnson, will settle later. But right now, it's anybody's guess. Second, we do not know yet whether the settlements will be a global settlement or an inventory settlement. A global settlement is when the company gathers all of the law firms together and settles with everybody collectively. An inventory settlement is when the company goes to individual law firms one by one and reaches individual deals to settle their dockets. Probably at least some of the settlements will be inventory settlements. When this happens, the manufacturer will usually go first to the law firms that have the most number of cases and the law firms that do the best job of screening and working up their cases. The upshot is this. It makes a big difference what law firm your case is with. Some law firms are likely to settle their cases a lot faster and for a lot more money than other law firms. Third, the cases where the patient had revision surgery, that is a subsequent surgery to fix or remove the mesh, will probably see the highest settlement values. In fact, it may be that non-revision cases, cases where the hernia mesh implant is still in the patient's body, don't settle at all. Finally, as with all mass tort litigations, there will most likely be a matrix. This means that individual settlements will vary based on the strength of the case and the severity of the injuries. So if your mesh has migrated and obstructed your bowels, perforated your organs, caused hemorrhaging or severe internal injuries, those types of complications will probably trigger higher settlement amounts. Hernia mesh litigation can be complex and confusing. If you have more questions, we invite you to contact us here at Shouse Law Group. Whether we take your case or not, we are happy to give you guidance and help steer you in the right direction.